Thus I cleanse them from everything foreign. Remember me, O my God, for good. Hello, dear friends, brothers, and sisters. Now we move on to the second part of Ezra and Nehemiah. We will learn about the third return of the Israelites to Jerusalem. According to chapter 1, verse 11, in the Susa Palace, there was a cupbearer, an important officer who served King Artaxerxes. However, the man in this important position turned out to be an Israelite named Nehemiah. Nehemiah was born in Persia. Though he probably has never been to Jerusalem, he kept his own countrymen and his homeland deep in his heart. They replied, the survivors there in the province who escaped captivity are in great trouble and shame. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates have been destroyed by fire. When he heard about Jerusalem's situation, he sat down and wept and mourned for days, fasting and praying before the God of heaven. He cried out to God for the redemption. He knew that the only way to reverse the fate of the returnees was to trust in God wholeheartedly. The time of the third return led by Nehemiah should be sometime after the month of Nisan in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, that is, 445 BC. Here is the Jerusalem Walls National Park where the ancient city of David was built. Some walls built in the Persian era are found here. Most archaeologists believed that they were built in the Nehemiah era. Some scholars estimated that this wall is five meters thick. We can imagine how difficult the project was at the time. The entire chapter three of Nehemiah records how Nehemiah organized each family and tribe to build a section of the walls. Such division of labor enables the reconstruction to progress at the same time. Therefore, the walls of Jerusalem were rebuilt within a short period of time. When people mention about Nehemiah, they usually think of him as the leader of the Israelites who led them to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. However, most of the book of Nehemiah records how he reestablished the faith of the Israelites. Obviously, rebuilding the walls was very important, but rebuilding the relationship between the Israelites and God was Nehemiah's desire. 